What's going on y'all? Today we're going to be talking about five of the best inshore fishing lures that y'all should be using this fall. But before I do that, I want to give y'all details to a giveaway we got going on. All of these lures mentioned today, as well as a Southern Salt hat, will be given to three people at the end of the month. All you have to do to be entered into this is to share this video on social media and tag Southern Salt. I'll do a giveaway at the end of the month, three people will win. So getting into the five best inshore fishing lures y'all should be using this fall. All of these lures will be linked down in the description, so just visit the description and it'll take y'all exactly where you need to go if you want to purchase these lures. Uh, but the first one we got is the h &K Custom Tackle Fluke. If y'all are having a hard time getting h &K Custom Tackle Fluke, you can substitute it with a Zoom or a Z-Man, any of those flukes. They work really, really well. Also, I just prefer the h &K Custom Tackle. Now, fishing the fluke. The fluke to me is a is a clean water bait and y'all see me use these flukes all throughout the year and I have a lot of good success on them. But in the fall and winter months, a fluke will just about outshine any other soft plastic given that we got clean water. A fluke just has a really nice long profile. It gives off uh, the appearance to, to predator fish that is a larger style bait as well as a bait that just glides through the water. It's very erratic and it triggers a lot of strikes. All right, so getting into the second lure, I have a boot tail swim bait from HK Custom Tackle. Uh, once again, you can substitute this with other uh, boot tail baits. These are really not anything that's you know super unique to HK Custom Tackle, but they do produce them. Uh, this is a four inch model. Now with a boot tail swim bait, I like to have a three, a four, and a five inch on hand. Uh, and, and it really just depends on what kind of bait I'm seeing in the area. If I'm seeing a lot of smaller glass minnows or smaller mullet, I'll use a smaller boot tail. Uh, but as we get into the colder months, I will increase my size to a five inch and just use a slower retrieve on those. But the boot tail for me really shines in dirtier water. Uh, like right now, we got a lot of tropical systems that are moving through. We got a lot of mud in our bays right now. And throwing that boot tail is going to put off a lot more vibration, which is just going to trigger a lot more strikes. I use these a lot during the winter and, and late fall months to catch speckled trout, even redfish. Uh, but it is a lure that I will not leave home without. If I'm having dirtier water and I want to throw a soft plastic, I'm going to throw a boot tail. Next up, we got a Mirrodin Twitch Bait. And these Mirrodin Twitch Baits are really awesome when you're locating fish around huge schools of bait. So what happens in the fall is all these predator fish are feeding very, very heavily and getting ready for the winter time. They're trying to put on those extra layers of fat to get them through the cold months. And what you're going to see is that these trout are going to have a lot of bait fish just corralled up and they're going to be in there and they're going to be working and lures that i feel like get the most strikes in those situations are going to be twitch baits jerk baits anything that puts off a lot of flash a little bit of rattle and it just sets your bait aside from the rest uh you throw out there throw in those areas rip it through there those trout are going to key in on that rattle, they're going to key in on the flash, and you're going to catch fish in those situations using twitch baits. Uh, you can also throw twitch baits out on the flats if you're sitting there and you're, you're searching uh, for some strikes, throwing it out there and, and giving those fish something to key in on. They're going to hear the rattle, and when they see the flash, they're going to strike it. But uh, those are the situations that I like throwing those baits in when I'm getting a lot of bait in the area or if I'm searching for fish. I'm going to throw a Mirrodin. The next lure that we have is a marsh fishing machine. If you're targeting redfish, flounder, even speckled trout in the marsh, you want to pick up a bugs fishing curly tail redfish jig. These things absolutely do work. I've used them a lot in the past. And in the fall, we start to get those north winds. They push a lot of water out and uh, our marsh systems become a foot, two foot shallower than they are in the summertime. And it's hard to get in there with a lure that can be worked natural in skinny water. 
and Heath Hipple over at Bugs Fishing has done an excellent job making these lures to where you can sit there and just barely move them along the marsh, bump them a little bit, and the redfish key in on them. They're just awesome lures. Uh, they have weed guards in there. If y'all fish the marsh system any bit, you know that there's a lot of grass, a lot of vegetation down there, stuff that gets snagged around your hooks. That stuff can be aggravating. And uh, these come with a built-in weed guard to deflect that grass off of there, as well as a little rattling chamber. So if you're sitting there trying to pick off redfish in the area, you're giving them just a little bit to key in on. Uh, but the thing about these jigs is that they resemble just about any kind of uh, a bug or crustacean that would be in a marsh system. You know, these absolutely mimic a crab perfectly. It's probably one of the best crab imitation lures I've ever seen, uh, but they do imitate crabs perfectly. They also imitate uh, shrimp, but you can move them through the marsh system a little bit quicker and also imitate bait fish in the area. It's an extremely versatile lure for fishing in shallow water and they're just awesome for catching redfish. Um, my next redfish video, I will be going out there and absolutely just putting them in the boat using this lure. If y'all have never tried bugs fishing jigs, be sure to check out the curly tail redfish jig. Give it a shot in your marsh system and let me know what y'all think about it. But uh, that lure for me, hands down, one of the best redfish lures out there on the market. And lastly, we got the clickbait shrimp, also from Bugs Fishing. And uh, this is a new lure on the market. It's, it's one that I really haven't tried yet, but I know that in the fall, we get a lot of shrimp that move up into our marsh systems. And I feel like this is probably one of the best looking shrimp imitations on the market. It, it actually, to me, it kind of, it looks like a, a lure that a fly fisherman would use. And the thing about, fishing with a fly is that you're able to throw lures that look extremely lifelike. They're light and they just the way they move through the water, they can trigger a lot of bites that, you know, conventional tackle cannot. And this is a good little switch up between a fly fisherman, a lure that they would use and the lure that a conventional angler would use. Um, this is definitely one of a kind and I got really, really high hopes for it. The thing I like about it the most is that I know areas down in the marsh system that are just loaded with grass, and I'm going to be able to put that shrimp right up there next to the marsh line, work it through there, and it's going to get a lot of bites. Y'all, those are my five inshore lures that y'all should be using this fall. Let me know what y'all think. Hit that like button. Comment with any questions. Subscribe if you haven't already. We'll see y'all next time.